Hi everyone. Okay, in this chapter, which is on correlation and regression, it will be under chapter 20 for H2 students and it's also under chapter 14 for H1 students. And in this video clip, I will be actually going through some kind of introduction to this chapter by actually introducing to you this concept of scatter diagram and how to interpret them. So far in the previous chapters on statistics, we are actually looking at what we call the univariate situation. That means there is only one variable and we want to study that variable. And it's this chapter, on chapter 20 or chapter 14 for H1 students, we are actually looking at some kind of interaction between two variables. Okay? Scatter diagram is one of the useful concepts that allows us to actually study the relationship between two variables. So it says that a scalar diagram is obtained when each of the observed bivariate data, that means xi, yi, where i equals to 1 to n, is plotted on the Cartesian plane. Okay? So that means that you are actually having something like yi and x, and some kind of points being plotted in this manner. Okay? So from the plot, then we can roughly judge if there is any relationship or linear relationship between x and y. Now, how do we actually make use of the scatter diagram? Now, scatter diagram has a few usage. First, it allows us to see the direction of the relationship, whether it is positively or negatively correlated. That means whether the relationship is some kind of negative or whether the relationship is positive. Okay? And secondly, it gives you the form of the relationship, whether it's a linear relationship, quadratic relationship, or curve, or there's no clear relationship. Example of situation when there's no clear relationship could be something in this manner. Or scattered everywhere. Okay? And also, and thirdly, it tells you the strength of the relationship. Uh, how do we see the strength of the relationship? If the points are scattered everywhere, okay, right, in this way, I would say that this relationship is not very strong compared to a situation where the points are all very close together. And this tells you that the relationship is going to be a very strong one. So let me just give you some uh, suitable examples of scatter diagram here. And these uh, examples of scatter diagram are actually what we call common ones that you tend to see. Okay, the first one. So we can say that in this case, x and y have a positive linear relationship. Okay, so second example. I will say that x and y have a negative linear relationship. Okay, and our example. Okay, so it's going up a little bit. So we can actually see that x and y have a positive correlation. So it's some kind of relationship, positive. That means that x increases, y increases. Okay? And sometimes we can also say that x and y also have a curvy linear relationship. Because it's in the form of a curve. Okay? An example where the points are all scattered everywhere. OK, 
Okay, and then we say that x and y do not have any clear relationship. Okay, so in general, scatter diagram gives us a visual evidence of outliers or suspicious observation. So sometimes you may see that the points are all in a certain straight line. Then suddenly there is a point out here, and we call this an outlier. That is far away from the remaining points. Such outliers gives us an indication that uh, this particular point could have been accidentally being recorded wrongly, in a sense. Interpretation of the strength solely based on a scatter diagram is subjective and it can even be deceiving when different scales for the axis are used. For example, in points like this, they are very closely together, can actually be converted to this manner by just a change of the skill, okay? By just a change of skill. So you have to be able to see by yourself whether the skill is a suitable one to represent the set of data, okay? So that comes to the end of this particular video clip. In the next video clip, we will look into some form of measure of the relationship between two variables. Thank you.